Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I am popping on right now to talk about the importance of eating for your hormones, for your cycle, for your body, for wherever you're at. This is something that is a complete game changer for women when they start incorporating this into their routine, into their lifestyle and everything else. Um, I am such a firm believer in giving women the tools they need, the information they need to really you know, give them the you know, just whatever the, whatever you can think of to advance yourself forward and towards your results. There's so many times that women get stuck frustrated, like, I've been trying this thing, I've been trying that thing. Um, I can't tell you how many messages I get from women every day. I'm laughing because it's kind of funny sometimes. You know, like, the holidays are coming up, they're creeping around the corner, and there's so many different things that are out there that I get a ton of messages where women are like, well, what do you think about this thing? <gasps> I saw this thing or, ooh, my neighbor had really good results with this, but when I tried it, it was awful for me. Why? And, you know, there's so many different reasons why exactly, but this is one of the things that I go over with women in detail because it is so important and so essential for you to understand how your body works and functions and how to match your nutrition with that. Like, stop fighting against yourself. Stop fighting with how your body naturally works. Stop trying to force it to do something that it's not designed to do on its own. That's when you struggle. When you're following the same eating plan day after day after week after week, I mean, not that it's not good to eat healthy and eat clean and all these other things, right? Uh, you love the visual. Oh, thanks, Hammer. Yay. Um, you know, not that it's bad to not eat healthy, you know, right? I eat healthy. This is, I hear this from women all the time. I eat healthy. I eat clean. I have a salad every day. I only drink wine once a week or twice a week. <laughs> you know, why is this so hard for me? Why am I struggling so much? Well, if you're eating the same every day, every week, essentially, and you're not really leaning into the difference that you have week to week throughout the month, you're missing out on a huge opportunity, huge opportunity. So as I go through this, I am making also an announcement before I forget, because I'm going to get super excited about talking about this stuff. I might forget to tell you. Um, I'm going to be doing a webinar next Sunday. I will put the link below where I'm going to dive into this even more because I have found that women who want this information, women who need this information, um, I am going to be doing a webinar. That way you guys can ask live questions easier. Um, you know, we can deep dive into some of these things and I can kind of talk even more about how to really tailor your nutrition for your body, your nutrition for your hormones and how to do it in a seasonal manner, right? This is gonna be really, really fun. I'm really excited. So I'll put that link below the video. Click the link, sign up for the webinar. It's a free webinar, right? Like, it's just more of what I talk about and it's more in depth and it's explaining it in, in greater detail. And I'm gonna really, you know, kind of dive into some different stories and everything else as well. Um, I do have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. Uh, this also has information on nutrition for your hormones and your cycle. My podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, you can download that on iTunes and everywhere else that you can get podcasts. <laughs> and then my YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy, has all of my all of my videos archived there. So if you're searching for something, look there. Um, but one of the things that, you know, when I talk with women when they struggle, it's not just one thing, right? You're not just like, oh, I can't. Um, oh, I just, I can't lose weight. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't, you know, it's like, I can't lose weight. I don't have energy. I'm, I'm super fatigued all the time and that I work out and it takes me days longer to recover than it should. My hormones are completely out of whack. I have stress problems, cortisol problems, right? I, and I can't get ahead of this. And a lot of women, they actually have other issues in conjunction with this. Now, now we're talking endometriosis, PCOS, you know, fibroids, infertility, and, and then you're, you're coupling that maybe some thyroid issue or adrenal issue, right? It's not just one thing that women are like struggling with. It's like, oh, I just need to not eat so much chocolate. No, it's like all of these things. And then add in, this is where, this is what happens for women. And, I, and this is what I'm gonna detail out in the webinar what happens for women's bodies and why this happens. Because a lot of women are like, oh, I can't figure it out. You're at your wit's end, like staring at the scale, staring at yourself in the mirror, feeling so bad about where your body's gotten to, but it didn't get there overnight and it didn't get there because you ate a cupcake, right? Like that's not it. It's, it's your hormones, it's your stress, it's everything else. And oftentimes I find that women actually have a very 
um, you know, a, a traumatic event in their life, right? It can be an illness, an injury, a death in the family, right? A divorce, something, you, you know, that sh totally shifts your body and adds so much more stress that you know, holds you back from getting your results. So that's, we're gonna talk about all that stuff in detail in the webinar about why this happens for women. Um, so that's where I'll put that link below, click and sign up. Um, so if you really, if you want it, click and sign up and get it because there's only gonna be so many spots. So it's gonna be amazing though. But when we talk about nutrition for hormones and everything else, the one thing that women really can benefit from is just leaning into where their body's at. So day one, this first day of your period, day 14 is about when you ovulate, day 28 is the end. Now again, this is different for everybody, right? If you're under stress, you know what can happen? It can shorten or lengthen your cycle. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> no, no, it's not fun. <laughs> Cause you don't know when it's gonna happen. You don't know, you know, what's, what's going on. And if your body doesn't have, you know, some type of pattern to fall back on, that's when it gets really, really funky and your, your hormones just kind of go haywire. So by eating for your cycle, when you have stress, when you have other things happen, you have this pattern to fall back on. It's amazing. And the other thing in terms of getting you towards your results, really focusing on the difference between estrogen and progesterone and leaning into the benefits that each of those hormones bring you and your metabolism. They do completely different things. In short, and again, in the webinar, I'll be covering this in much more detail, but in short, when we look at estrogen, it's gonna burn carbs. Now, carbs, this is almost, this is becoming a four letter word, by the way, carbs. I don't know if you've experienced that with some people. Ho, 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 ho. Melody, you started tracking your temp this morning, trying to determine your day one. Yes, good, good, good. Um, but <laughs> carbs can be, uh, th them's fighting words. Them is fighting words right there. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But estrogen burns carbs. Now to burn carbs, you have to have the right amount of carbs in your body. You just get, you have to, you have to have the right amount of carbs in your body. You have to be able to fuel that system properly. Once you can, your body then can burn more carbs very, very efficiently. This is also a stage for if you're looking to increase your performance, um, you know, you're looking to lean out more, you often have to gain more lean muscle. In this stage, your body can build lean muscle a heck of a lot easier than it can over here. Over here, it's way tougher to build that lean muscle. So it's really important that you're focusing on the right things during the right weeks throughout the month to really help your body get the same result. And for those of you, like a lot of women, they weigh themselves every day and they're like, oh, I lost three pounds. I gained two pounds. I lost a pound. I gained two pounds. What's happening? Don't weigh yourself every day. There's such a fluctuation in the amount of blood volume that we have throughout the month, right? It's, it's, um, it's like, it's like it's a stone. Weigh yourself like once a week if you must but only compare that to the previous week at the same time. So if you weigh yourself on day one, seven, 14, and 21, that's when you weigh yourself and only compare your day seven to your previous day seven. That makes the most sense because that's, that's where your body's at comparatively. You know, these are, these are really important things that women, you know, we're taught to, oh, ooh, you weigh more now than you did two weeks ago. Duh, you should, <laughs> you should, you should weigh more because your body has more fluid in it. <sighs> this isn't necessarily a bad thing in terms of like, oh, you gained a pound, mm. but this is where women feel bad. Oh my gosh, I'm working out, I'm eating clean and I gained a pound and a half here. Yeah, that's just fluid. It's just, you know, wait another two weeks and you'll be down four pounds. Mm hmm yes, right? It's just the, the up and down, the ebb and flow of our bodies because of course they just, you know, it's just very different, right? The male body, very, very easy. Very, it's all the same, right? Very linear, just doesn't change. But for women, it changes throughout the month. So these are the things that are really important. Again, I'm gonna go into detail in this in the webinar 
click that link below um, after the live video, sign up for this webinar because you do not want to miss it. Um, I'm gonna go into detail of when to weigh yourself, how to compare that, what that looks like, how women get there, most of all. How do women get their bodies to a place where they're like, how can I be this stuck and frustrated? How is it that stress did this to my system? Because that's usually the main cause of it for a lot of women. Um, and then where to go from there? What steps do I take? You know, if, if estrogen burns carbs, you know, how much carb do I eat? We're gonna dive into that and, and really, you know, tailor that out for you. Progesterone here, the other piece too, when we look at the differences between estrogen and progesterone, progesterone, it does burn more fat, naturally. Now, the tricky thing here is, is this, because of course there's even more tricky things. <laughs> of course, <laughs> this wasn't tricky enough. If this isn't tricky enough, <sighs> there's more tricky things with the, with the fat burning. The female body does not like to burn fat. It's not designed for that. Our bodies are designed to store fat, to hold on to it, to be best friends with it and snuggle it forever and just keep it nice and tight. Mm. But that's not what we all want, right? No, we don't want it like that. So we have to do different things to help lean into the fat burning zone. Now, progesterone is more likely to burn fat because your body temperature is higher at this point. So there's different little tweaks you can make with your food, with your nutrition to lean into more fat burning and help encourage that with your body and system without it having a damaging effect. Now that's the key. There are so many women that go through, do weight loss, do all these other things, and they do crazy extreme things, crazy extreme things. And they find out, oh yeah, I lost 15 pounds on the scale, but I felt like garbage. I, I was exhausted. I, you know, and then I, you know, lost all this muscle mass and I was so weak at the gym, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you didn't necessarily lose that much fat. You might have lost some fat, but you also lost muscle. That's, that's not good. That's not good. Because you can't get to and stay in a fat-burning zone then. That's, that's just what it is. That, that's the reality of it. So, in this webinar, I'm going to go through even more differences. You know, estrogen, progesterone. How to really get to and stay in, you know, carb-burning, fat-burning consistently right? Like, like how we can do that easily using real food, real food, food that you love to eat. Oh my God. So, and I have, I have different programs where I work with women, right? With different nutrition programs and everything. One of my favorite things was I had a gal, I, <laughs> she looked at the program and she called me and she's like, um, there's a bagel on here. It says bagel on Wednesday. I'm supposed to eat a bagel. I was like, uh-huh. She's like, I haven't eaten a bagel in five years. And I was like, do do you not like bagels? I love bagels. Well, why haven't you eaten one? Because carbs are, the, are so bad for you. I was like, mm, yeah, this is why we're changing all of this, right? You get to eat a bagel. She was like tearful. She was so excited and like grateful that there was a plan and a program that was real food, foods she loved, foods she missed, and then it helped her get her energy back, help her sleep better, help her, you know, shrink down and then be able to, you know, achieve different results at the gym that she's never had before. So, you know, so and it get real food, like a bagel, not, right? These are the crazy things that people think that, oh, I shouldn't eat this, oh, it's bad. Oh. No, bagels are delicious and used at the right time can actually help your body burn more. Yeah, yeah, a bagel, right? It's like earth shattering, earth shattering. It really, really is, um, yeah. So that's so. Those are the these are the things I'm going to talk about in the webinar. So I'm going to put that link below. Um, sign up for the webinar. I'm going to have a limited number of slots available, so you don't want to miss it. Though I'm going to be diving into these things. Um, I probably feel the same way about pizza. <laughs> pizza is good. I'll be honest. Pizza is pizza is very good. Um, but I'm going to go through this in detail. I'm going to talk about why women end up this way and then what to do about it. What are your next steps to do about it? If you're like, I am, um, I am going to, you know, take a step. I want to do something, you know, where do I start? I'm going to lay all of that out, you know, where to start, where to jump in and how to really get moving on getting your body into different, you know, fat burning, carb burning modes, really easy, just using your hormones. A lot of times women don't know where to start or they don't know, you know, how to start. So I'll put that below, click the link, sign up. If you have friends that have been struggling, if you have friends that have tried a bunch of like 
crazy extreme diets, tried keto and they've struggled with it, tried, you know, and lim like limiting their carbs, eating, I'm only eating 1100 calories a day. Should I cut it to a thousand? No, no, you're wrecking your metabolism. You know, they need this webinar, right? If you feel like your hormones are completely out of whack, you need this webinar. If you're really stressed out and aren't sleeping well and you have no energy, you're going to need this webinar. So I'll put the link below, sign up for the webinar. I'll be doing videos um, the rest of this week on even more content um, that I'll be touching on in the webinar, right? So I'm gonna touch on the, in the videos I'll do, I'm gonna, the videos I'm gonna do, I'm gonna touch on the info that I'll be deep diving into the webinar. So the webinar is gonna be longer. So I'm letting you know right now. Um, it will be recorded and everything, but I am gonna be interacting live with everybody. So if you have questions that you want me to go over, send them to me right now, um, cause I'll build that in and make sure I talk about it. I mean, I have women send me so many questions, but we're gonna be going over, like I said, eating for your hormones, eating for your cycle, why that's important, how women get this way in the first place that they're so frustrated and struggling, and then what to do about it, and then how to tie in eating, not only for your hormones, but seasonally as well. That way you get the healthiest, freshest food for your body, so you get the best results. It's amazing. It's totally amazing. All right, I'm really excited. Yes. Um, ooh, okay, yeah, the webinar is gonna be next Sunday night. So it's gonna be Sunday, August, or August, August, October. It's gonna be Sunday, October 21st at 7 p.m. Um, so I'll put all that information below, click the link, and then I will see you guys there. But I'm gonna do videos leading up to that. If there's something else you want me to do a video on, if you have questions on, let me know. Um, but this stuff is amazing. I'm really, really excited about it. There's gals that are in my program right now that are starting to see some incredible shifts. Gals that have been stuck for years years, stuck for years, not being able to see results for years. And all of a sudden they're starting to see shifts and things happen with their body that they never had before. It's incredible. All because you start working with your body, not fighting against it, not trying to force it to do something it's not meant to do or how it functions. No, this is how your body functions. Embrace it and work with it. And it's incredible the result you can get. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. I will see you later.